on the show, why fucking lip sync now? Leave it to those for the picture. But I am here tonight to be a nasty, hateful, filthy fucking cunt. Who's ready for it? Right. Are you okay, man, in the front row? You can take it, right? I look at it this way. If you can take a dick in your ass, you can take a joke that I say. You understand? You know what I mean? Oh, look, I feel like Beyonce. Solange after she beat me up. Listen, I'm excited to be here. It's my first time in Brownsville, Texas, and I know you've had some other bitches come up in here, and you've had other hoes come in. Well, they stupid. So listen, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're all my sisters. <laughs> no, but I am excited to be here because when I found out I was coming to Brownsville, everybody says it's really close to the border. I said, what the fuck's wrong with that? Because the good thing about being close to the border is that I don't look suspicious anymore. Do you understand? It's true. What are they going to say? Oh, that brown man with a lot of makeup. Could be any of you. You understand? I don't stand out. I don't stand out. Now let me ask this. I know that this is, this is the only gay club in Brownsville, right? So what do you do on off nights? Do you always come to the bar or what do they do? Tell me what happens in Brownsville on a regular night. You get deported. Okay, that's it. No, you fucking douchebag. What are you doing on the nights? And it sounds like it came from a white man, you racist fuck. What the fuck? Come up here, faggot. Let's look at you. Yes, come here. Let's start with him. Look at this piece of shit. Yeah. Come on up. What is your name? Patrick. Patrick. And what do you do for a living? But wait, what is all this bullshit? Yeah, if you think you're that fucking sexy, you should have ironed your shirt, bitch. That's what you should have done. Don't you live in an Adobe with your abuelita? Couldn't she hire it for you? What do you do for a living? You're a student. <laughs> Look, it doesn't, it's not really called school if you're doing it online. You understand? What are you majoring in? GED. Okay, GED. And how did you end up at this gay club tonight? I drove here. You drove here? Were you escorted here by the border police? Or were you actually driving here? The bigger question is, oh, you're white. Oh, so you're a racist bitch. Oh. Oh, are you going to show me? Because it says on your, it says what? White. Really, douche? Don't try it. Not today, Satan. Not today, motherfucker. You might tell us you're white, but if we saw your dick, we know you're white. You hear what I'm saying? Remember that. Remember that. Because you know what? I can slap you with my dick from here. Yeah. You just pull everything up and look at all the women. See, I didn't do their songs, but thanks. Sure. Well, nice to meet you, faggot. I'll get you a drink in a minute. Get out of here. All right. What a douche. White people always ruin everything. It's like watching Drag Race with Courtney X showing up. Listen. But you're not going to see her because you're not going to spend money on her. But I do know, I got, well, you know it's true. Like, you need an Asian to come to Brownsville now. Shit, she's Asian. She can't even see the audience. Listen. Tonight, I am excited that you're like, coming up though for Labor Day weekend, you're going to get Adore Delano. You're going to love Adore. She's a good queen. Is she coming here or has she been here? Oh, she's been here. Yeah, the city I was in before. How was she? Was she good? Yeah. She's one of the few that I like. But the one you don't want to have is Darian Lake. That's a shady fucking bitch. I you like to call it a shady fucking elephant. You know what I'm talking about. Shady. Oh, wait a minute. Whenever you're through checking your grinder on your prepaid phone. Go ahead. Go ahead. You do that. Check your phone. Pull that food. Take your time. Act like you got it. Take a selfie, bitch, because nobody else wants to take a picture of your faggoty ass. You better add a filter, bitch, because I can see you up close. Cute. Uh, cute. And you better get that RuPaul season one filter, bitch, where it's just Vaseline. Fucking fat. It's probably been here since 
9 o'clock and now she's got to check her phone. Really, girl? Who are you checking in with? Your parole officer? Tell me, what's going on? What is your name? Now, of course, the thing is, I was going to say, Jose, same difference. Listen, I'm glad that you're here. Very nice to see you. Are you in show business? Oh, good. Well, get your fucking ass off the stage. Now, listen. And so I'll get you some Mexican champagne. Can I get a Corona for him, please? Just one. Just one. I'll get you Mexican. I want you to celebrate. So listen, I thank you guys for coming out. I'm doing a whole other set coming up in the second act where I'm going to actually fuck with people in the audience. So I need you. I need you to drink. And we're going to get this shit started. So let's welcome this fabulous entertainer. I just met her backstage. What's her name again? Yeah, we're really close. Is, it Kate? Is that it? Yeah, okay. Shh, shh, shh. Ma, shh, shh. They can't hear backstage. <laughs> Let me welcome my good sister, Miss 